Hi guys and welcome in this new video. First of all, I want to wish you an excellent year for 2024. In this video, we'll talk about the different steps to create your trading strategies factory. We do that because, as you know, in the AlphaQuant program, you have already the e-learning port, the 7 day over 7 support and some templates to create your own trading strategies very easily. But I recently added a new feature, which is the monthly project. The goal is very simple. Create this year in six months a trading strategy portfolio that achieve 35% of return with a 15% maximum drawdown. Of course, it's an educational project and it has already begun yesterday in the private community. The first step is to talk about alternative data and find good data sources. So that's why we do this video to explain you all the steps to create your trading strategy factories, but also once you will have understood each step, you will be able to specialize in one of these different area. And at the end of this video, I will explain you in which step I am specialized personally. The first step to create your trading strategies factory is to have data. That's why the first project talk about data. You need to find interesting data sources. You need to be able to import them and also you need to be able to pre-process them correctly. You need to have correct data because if you have garbage as input, you will have garbage as output. It's 100% sure. It's really one of the most important step of the process because if you have garbage data, you can use the best model that you have it will give you garbage as output. And also another thing that you need to be aware of is that the more you will use data that other people use, the more the odds to find an edge on the market will decrease. So the goal is to use data that only few people are able to use or that people don't think about it to use in their trading strategies. So the skills that you will need to use in this step is programming to extract the data, to pre-process them, and also trading, because you need to understand all the data that you are importing, that you are cleaning, to be sure that you do the job well. The second step is the features analyst. Now, you need to bring information using this data. At the end of the first step, you have databases with prices, ticks, news, alternative data, economics indicator, you have the Google search, you have some tweets, you have some sentiment analysis, satellite images, you can have a lot of things. But you have ordered all this different data. Once you have that, you are in the second step, the features analyst. You need now to use some data analysis and trading knowledge to extract the right features, the right information from all this data. That is really an art. The features analyst will not create the strategy. It's really important to understand. It will bring information. For example, it will create a new features using machine learning models that will help us to understand the trend or the odds to have a reversal movement in the price. It will bring information. And it's only in the third step that we will use all of that to create a trading strategy. So, of course, the skills that you need to do the features analysis step is data analysis and also trading knowledge. Because you need to understand which features can be really interesting and then verify this intuition using math and statistics. The third step is create the trading strategy the strategist quant. This quant is combining math, statistics, and trading to create a strategy. It will use all the information bring by the features analyst to create a clear trading strategy. For example, let's say that the features analyst has created a very interesting features that will help us to find the structural break, which means when we switch from one trading, one financial market condition to another. And the strategist quant can say, okay, we will use these features because the beginners, the new traders 
will not be able to understand that we are switching from one market condition to another. And then they will move their stop loss, they will do a lot of errors. And that's on that that will earn money. That's the strategy created, for example, by a strategist using these new features. If we are in a downward trend and the odds to have an increasing in the price is very high thanks to the features that the features analyst created, we know that we need to take a buy position because the beginners on the market will not take this side. They will begin to be in the downward side, but they will increase their stop loss and then will earn money. That can be one strategy. But of course, in the monthly project, we will have a huge focus on that because it is the part that you don't really see on internet. And to do that, you need to have good knowledge in statistics to really understand the different features and also in economics, finance, to have the intuition to create the different trading strategies. Once we have a trading strategy, we need to backtest it. And for those of you who are already in the AlphaCon program, you know that a simple backtest doesn't give us any information. It's garbage. You need to have a clear process to backtest. Doing robust test tests, rock forward optimization, Monte Carlo simulation, and much more. It's not really a game. You will put real money on it and you need to minimize the odds to have another fitting, which means very simply that you have amazing results in the backtest and poor results in live trading. So essentially, in this part, we use statistics because we need to be sure that our results are not due to randomness and that they come from a significant value from our feature. The fifth step is to deploy our trading strategy. If your strategy passes the backtesting test, you will need to put it in live trading. And to put it in live trading, you need to have huge skills in programming. Of course, on the AlphaCon program, you have templates to put your trading strategy in live trading. But if you want to increase the speedness of your trading strategy, if you use a very specific scalping method, for example, and this kind of stuff, or if you have huge model that demands a lot of time computation, you need to have huge skills in programming to reduce the time computation to be sure that you do not have a too high slippage in your trading strategy. And that's why some things like incubation period and live trade in demo account are essential to be sure that once you will put real money on it, the odds to have an overfitting problem or to have a technical problem are very low. And once you are sure that you can integrate your trading strategy into a portfolio of trading strategies, you will have the sixth step, which is the portfolio overview. You will need to use quantitative finance, which is a mix between statistics and finance to be sure that you will not use too high correlated trading strategies. Because at the end, if you have some trading strategies that follow exactly the same movement, it's exactly if you had only one strategy. So the goal is to have non-correlated trading strategies or negatively correlated trading strategies to be sure that you have a portfolio the most robust that you can. But of course, it's really not the only thing. You need to have risk management. You need to combine very smartly your different trading strategies. So now we know the sixth step to create a trading strategies factory. First of all, import data. Second, you need to bring information from this raw data. Then you use this information in the first step to create a strategy. Four, you backtest it. Five, if the strategy is good, you put it in live trading, demo account, incubation, all this stuff. If you find that it is good on live trading, you six, integrate it into your trading strategies portfolio to create something more robust, keeping a comfortable return and reducing your risk. Personally, even if I have a good background in Python that allow me to do all the different steps of this process, I more specialize into math and trading because of my background. So the features analyst part, 
the strategies part, the backtesting part are really where I focus all my attention. Also on the portfolio management part, but if you have good trading strategies, it's an easy part compared to the previous one. So if you want to know more about all the different steps, how to do it, and if you want to practice your knowledge to create trading strategies, I invite you to take a look to my AlphaCon program where you can find e-learning videos. You will have a seven day of a seven support for any question that you have. You will also have templates to create your own strategy very easily. And now, of course, as you understood, you have a new feature, which is the monthly project where we create trading strategies together. So I hope you like this video. If you have any remark or question, don't hesitate to drop them in the comment area.